Nuclear fallout from France's tests in Algeria continues to devastate the country 60 years later. Local researchers say thousands of Algerians have suffered the effects of nuclear radiation across the Algerian Sahara, and many of the toxic sites have not been decontaminated. On February 13, 1960, the French army detonated an atomic bomb as a test in the Algerian Sahara. The plutonium-filled bomb transformed the sand into black shards and was followed by 16 other nuclear explosions. The bomb was reportedly three times more powerful than the one dropped by the US on Nagasaki, Japan in 1945, which destroyed everything within 1.6 kilometers of its range. The French army claimed there were no signs of life in the vicinity of the blast, but Algerian sources say that is far from the truth. In 1960, when the bomb detonated, there were more than 6,000 inhabitants. Reggan was not in the middle of nowhere. Many of those who were contaminated have already passed away due to unknown medical causes. They were told they had rare illnesses, but they didn't really know the specific nature of their illness. Protests soon erupted after the blast as fallout from the bomb was detected, as far as Senegal, the Ivory Coast, Burkina Faso and Sudan. But the ground tests were not enough for French authorities. They decided to conduct underground tests in the Hogar Mountains. Those tests also caused pollution. Radioactive matter was spewed into the atmosphere during a barrel bomb detonation as the blast site was not properly sealed. Nine soldiers and several officials were heavily contaminated by the experiment. After many tests there as well, France shifted its experiments to French Polynesia. In 2010, France passed a law to compensate the victims of nuclear radiation in Algeria, but it requires claimants to have been residents of the region as the tests were happening, and it only recognises some illnesses. The Algerian government is yet to receive complete maps of French experiments in the region. There is nuclear waste underground and we do not even know where it is located. Patients simply want to live in their hometowns without nuclear waste, that is all.